That's right. You've come to the right place. If you want to install Drupal now, if you want to install Drupal fast, if you want to do it right the first time, this is the site. But it's more than that. It's about empowering young people to be independent of a corporate job. You don't need to be working at McDonald's. You don't need to work at Subway. You can make serious money even at an early age. You can do this. Here we go. All right, here we go. I'm Chad. And I'm Sean. And I've turned over the controls. I've been using the mouse. I'm kind of, you know, we've been doing this all day and stuff. So I thought I'd stretch a little bit. And Sean's got the controls. Now, it, he is using the PC. This is this is like touching a virus for me. But we're going to plow through this. We're going to show you how to set up a contact page. So that way people come to your page. they got questions for you. If, they, if my PC messes up, it's because you're talking trash about my PC. It's very sensitive. It's a very sensitive machine. Anyways, PCs, what were you saying? Piece of, piece of what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. We can't say that kind of we stuff. We can't huh? say that kind of stuff. Watch your tongue. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I, I interrupted what you were going to say. Your whole flow. I just destroyed it. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. I'm, we're going to show you how to contact. We're going to show you how to add a contact page. So people are coming to your website. They got questions they like. They want to give you feedback or they want to ask questions about your product, about what whatever your site's doing. They they got questions for you. They want to know what's going on uh, or give you some kind of feedback. This is what they're going to use, um, a contact page. So we're going to go to site building. We're going to go to modules. Now, a contact page is a, a module that already comes in the core of Drupal when we install. So we're going to go down and we're going to go to contact. We're going to click that to enable it. We're going to slide all the way down, save configurations. All right, we got that saved um, and started. So we'll go up here to site building, contact form. And we'll go ahead and click on that. Now that we come to the contact page, we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to add contact or add con category. All right, so we're at the contact, add category. Category is going to be contact us. All right, so in recipients, you just want to do the, the, the email that you set up originally for this. So that'd be admin at richwindowcleaner.com now you can use any email you really want now Sean what if I wanted to do two let's say I had a like you know I wanted you to get a copy also mm -hmm. and I wanted a copy could we do that could we, we put could. more than one we would go ahead and put a comma here and since Chad set up Chad at richwindowcleaner.com then we could do Chad at richwindowcleaner.com So now the admin is going to get an email and Chad's going to get an email. If I wanted it, if we wanted to make sure I got an email too, we could do that. So maybe you're, you're running this site with a friend or a buddy and uh, you want y'all, you both want to be able to answer questions or get these emails. You could send those to, to both of you. Uh, auto reply. Uh, you just want to put something in here simple. You can, um, Say or, thanks. you know, you could just have a lot of fun with people. You could. Like, I'm sorry, we did not get your email. Would you please go back and respond again? And they keep going in this endless cycle. But then you're going to have a lot of emails saying yeah, the same thing. So that that might be uh, not beneficial on your side. Beneficial on your side. So in here, you just want to put, uh, you know, thank you for your email. We'll respond to you uh, within two to three business days. Something to that extent. Um, and just write that in there. Um, now wait. Wait is a crazy thing in Drupal. This is a whole concept in and of itself. So if you wanted to come in and put, let, now we have a contact us uh, category. This is what we just set up. What if we also wanted a um, customer support? So we could select that customer support, put in new emails, brand new emails, totally different group, but we want it to be listed second. So. With that in mind, we want to contact us to be always on top 
we would go to the very top number, which is minus 10. Minus 10. And in Drupal, you have to look at that list and whatever the top number is, that's it. Now, minus 10 always seemed lower, like I'm less money. I'm, I'm negative $10 out of my pocket. Seems bad. But in Drupal, that is actually top. So it's kind of like floating, I guess. So it's the you, furthest back number. Yeah. So whenever you look at this, I'm going to grab the my mouse here and see if we can do this. If you click it up, there we go. The very top number is going to be the top on the list. Sh Sean, do you think we're going to get a lot of emails about this one? Because I'm not feeling that. Are we explaining it well enough? I, I think we're explaining it well enough. You think so? Think we'll so. see. We'll have to get some emails. Use our contact page. Contact us and tell us if we're explaining this well enough. If you do have several of them set up, you can use this one as your default. So you want to contact us to be default. You could select yes. So that way, whenever they come up to this page, that's the first thing they see is contact us. Um, if you wanted customer support to be the your default, you could set up another one and have that as your default. But we're just going to go ahead and select yes for that and save. So now you have a category added. You can uh, edit that later, uh, Your who you want to be receiving that email. Again, it shows you the recipients there. Um, you can also delete it. So now you have this form set up. Now there's one more step but you it, have to do. But it's hidden. You know how long I took? It took me days to find this. I was looking, where's my contact form? I don't see it on the website. It took me days to figure this one out. So we're going to save you like 48 hours of searching right now. So once you have that in your list, you're going to go up to site building, menus. All right. So once you've got some menus, you're going to scroll down. You're going to see navigation, primary links, and secondary links. We're going to go ahead and go to navigation. Now what those are are three sets of different menus you can use in three different parts of your site. So once we go down, we see contact and we see that it's disabled. Crazy, crazy. We want to go ahead and enable that. Scroll down, save configuration. All right, so now that it's enabled, you'll see it over here in your navigation, contact. We can click on that and it'll take us to the contact page. Uh, you'll see here that it says for your name, your email address, subject, and message. And right now, since we're logged in as the admin, it shows us our admin login name, our email address, um, because we're logged in. Now, if somebody were to come in from outside who's not logged into your website, these blocks would be empty. Now, if people, if you allow people to sign up for your web page, um, they come to this page, it'll fill in their username, their email address, just to make it easy on you. Um, but good thing about these contact pages is it doesn't show your specific email addresses. The email addresses that this is being sent to, it hides them so that way it protects you from spam. And uh, now, <clears throat> those bots. Have you heard about those bots that travel through web pages? I've and heard stuff? about them. These computers scan web pages looking for at signs, and then they see well, is it an email or not? They can distinguish whether it's a word or an email. Once it finds an email, it adds you to a spam list. So if I ever put my email out, like in text form, it'll be picked up by these spam bots. It's crazy what they do nowadays. Yeah, I mean they do, they've been doing that for a long time, right. but still crazy, and that's why we hide it. All right, so now we're going to show you how to move. Um, contact out of your navigation bar into like a primary links box or uh, into another block. So we're going to go up here to site building blocks. As you'll come down, you see that you already have your navigation in your left sidebar and you see them labeled here, left sidebar. Up here it says right sidebar. Um, down here, content and, and your footer. But we're going to take your primary links and move them to we're going to move them to the right sidebar. Save blocks. PC. All right, it's going to say that it's been saved. Um, so now you got primary links in your right sidebar. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go back up to site building, menus. We're going to primary links. As you can tell right now, there's nothing over here. So there's nothing in your primary links, which is shown right here. It says there's no there are no menu items yet so there's nothing over here we're gonna go ahead and add an item 
Now this is going to ask the path of your contact page. So if you uh, right click on it, you can copy link location and paste that in. So that gives you the URL for your contact page. Your menu title, menu title, this is what people will see. So you just want to do contact us. Description, this will be, um, this is the site wide contact. page. All right, you want to enable it. It's going in your primary links. Uh, your weight, you can change that if you want it to be the very top thing. Uh, always that they see, you can go as make it negative 50, which that means nothing can be higher than it. And you can save it. So now you have something in your primary links that pops up over here and then you click in it. And same thing as, as it did before. You can, um, once again, you see your, your name, your email, and the subject and message. All right, so now you have your contact page set up. It's in your primary links now. You know how to move that around. Um, anything else, Chad? No, that looks awesome. I love that. This is one of the features I really love about Drupal. And as you can tell, your primary links will also pop up here along this top bar. So right here, contact us again. We'll take you right to your contact page. Your site's already looking better. You're adding more functionality to your site. Good job. Continue. Continue on. Looking good. Mm-hmm.